All right, we got more numbers on the Connecticut housing market now. Uh, Chaz, in 2000, the end of quarter four, so this time last year, 2022, mm -hmm. quarter four, interest rates shot up. They peaked at 7.37 on the 30-year fix. We now know we've been above that here in just in the last week. We've been up over 7.8. Um, but back then it was like they shot up so high so fast there was a lot of projections that home values are going to drop home values are going to drop you know fast forward back to, to today what have we seen well we saw a, a spring market that still had significant demand despite where the interest rates were and you actually saw home values going back up you actually saw a new peak across the country set on home values in 2023 uh, according to case shiller the gold standard for pricing in the last three months alone we've set a new peak which was which was unthinkable at the end of last year people thought we were on the downside on pricing not the case uh these these values actually went up anybody who remembers in the um 80s when interest rates went from eight to 16 percent Chaz. Home values actually went up 7% during that time frame. That is insane. So, so interest rate increases do not always mean home values going down. It means affordability gets crunched. It means less people can afford. We certainly are seeing that today. It doesn't necessarily mean the home values are going to go down. So, um, so, all right, we've got a peak on home values here in the U.S. in 2023, despite rising interest rates despite less capital in the market less mortgages available for folks what what about connecticut's um sales prices are we up or down over the peak that we set in 2022 it's actually been a really interesting year for connecticut so when you look at the rolling 12 months and you start kind of in in january of 2023 we were at 375,000 for median sales price and we stayed there until may where we bumped up to 376,000. but since that point we've been on an upward trend and in august we were at 382,000 for median sales price on single family homes and we closed out september up another three thousand dollars at three hundred eighty five thousand dollars for a single family home here in the state of connecticut so we were flat for a good part of the year when a lot of the uh other country was kind of seeing that upward swing and then we caught our groove right around April, kind of when the seasons turned and we've been on an upward trend ever since then. Yeah, it's a straight line up on the rolling 12 months over the last 12 months. Uh, to Chaz's point, September, you had a rolling 12 of $385,000 on the median sale price for single family homes. If you just look at the just what the month of September was, the month of September on its own for those 30 days, was $410,000 on the median sale price just in that 30-day window for single-family homes. Um, the average across Connecticut, when you average it all out, so the median is the true middle, the average is all the, every, you know, everything put together. Um, the average for just September was $565,340 on single-family homes in the state of your great state of Connecticut. Okay, if I go back, Chad, just to <laughs> tell you, seven percent year over year, or the average sales in just the month of September 2019, before COVID, three hundred sixty-six thousand six hundred seventy-eight, two hundred thousand dollars more today in September. Just the month. We're just looking at the month. Okay. Right. Um. So just just really, really big numbers, okay? And these numbers change. Anybody that was with me here 10 years before 2020 knows these numbers change. But these are the numbers now. These are the, these are the peaks now uh, that are happening here in Connecticut. We're, listen, every peak is, it may take 10 years like last time, but it's always below the next peak. That's, that's how real estate works for sure. Um, when you look at the... Uh, bu, bu, bu. let's look at the average on the rolling 12. The average on the rolling 12 is 554. I mean, so we, we want to look at, usually we want to look at the median, but um, those average numbers are, are, are just huge. They're, they're enormous.